Hi, this is Tweety, and we're going to go over um, <coughs> how to use INV. A lot of people have been asking about how to use INV, and so I picked up a kit. This is a starter kit. It comes in a bag like this, and you get um, these pads, the pads that you'll use to apply it, this little jar. Shh. This little jar is the tear stain removing powder, which I will show you how to apply. And then this is actually the INV liquid. So it all comes in a pouch, and this is the, act, the starter kit. So what you do is you'll um, open up the jar, and you will find these pads in here. I poured some in already. But um, you'll take the pads, and you'll actually open the liquid, and you'll pour this liquid in like that. And um, I didn't pour all of it, I put most of it. And the pads will be pretty soak. They'll soak up the liquid real good. And what you would do is you would take one of these pads, and this is the way the manufacturer recommends that you uh, use it, and you would squeeze out some of the excess liquid. And I'm going to just demonstrate. I do not use INV on Tweety. Um, I actually, the reason why I don't use it is I'm not really sure what the ingredients are. I guess I could call the manufacturer and find out uh, what is inside here, but I'm not really sure. It does say that it contains no bleach and no peroxide and no harsh chemicals nor antibiotics. So for that, I guess it's good. But I'm not really sure what the solution is. But if I were to use it, the way I would use it, according to the manufacturer, would be to take one of these wet pads. And as you can see, Tweety's pretty white. We've whitened her quite a bit since our last uh, video where we did a Tweety touch-up. And um, we have been using the regime that we did in our first video which is how to clean tear stains. So as you can see, she's gotten very white, even though her hair um, is very short around her muzzle. And even though we're growing out these hairs here, uh, we used to have these very short, and a lot of these short hairs were causing staining. We are currently growing all this hair out to grow into her top knot, but um, using the regime that we showed you, with um, using a diluted version of Spa Lavish and also washing with Renew Contact Solution and following up with a little bit of cornstarch in a jar. Um, it's been pretty good. So, but um, if I were to use INV on Tweety, what I would do is I would take this soaked pad and I would rub it along here. And usually stains will come, this is her residual stains here. You'll um, rub it along here. And sometimes they don't like that. So I would open it up. I would take the hairs and I would rub. These are the residual stains from, that have grown out. And I would rub these stains. She's very clean now. So, and then if if she was stained along and through here, I would take it and I would rub along in here like that. But if the hair is long, so if you like, let's say this was Dolce, and the hair is long, you would grab the long hairs and you would kind of rub the solution into the hairs to make sure this all gets cleaned. And that's how you would use these pads. You don't necessarily need to use these pads. You could essentially put the liquid in a little dropper bottle similar to this and you can dropper it. So let's say you transfer the solution into a little dropper bottle. The way I would apply it, and this is actually Renew Bausch & Lomb Contact Solution with the number one ingredient besides water being boric acid. So if you transferred the INV into a bottle like this, what you would do is you would come over, clear the area, and then you would drop some of this liquid in here and it slides off. 
So you would put it and you would rub it in. And this is what we do with Tweety. We actually use contact solution and we clean this area real good. And we're, this is right now, it's night. But in the morning she will have a little crusty. But her tear stains have all cleaned up now using this regime. We follow up with the tissue. And you want to really dry this area really good. So I'm going to pat this area dry really, really well. And I like to use tissue um, because we have a lot of laundry, but I also like little microfiber. This is a really soft microfiber. So if you like to use towels, I recommend using little microfiber towels and just really drying this out. You don't want to leave any of the eye area wet. So we'll dry it out. Okay. And see these are the hairs that we're growing, so they'll fall down. And then afterwards you want to open this powder up. And it says to apply it wet or dry. I don't imagine using this on dry hair because the powder is so fine. Um, the powder here is so fine that I could see it possibly going into the eyes. And it smells um, a little chemically. So if I, were to <coughs> if I were to show you, it's very fine. I would use a makeup. Um, this is just a cosmetic eyeshadow brush. I would dip it into the cosmetic brush here. And then I would come over here. And you're going to want to just pat it pat it. If this is not a cosmetic, it's not necessarily going to whiten, but I believe, I'm guessing here because I don't know what's in the in here, it's more to dry out this residual area. So on that side I'll use the powder for eye envy. On the other side I'll use what we have been doing, which is um, cornstarch. It's just simply cornstarch and a little sugar bowl a tea set that we got from Ikea and I'm going to use a different cosmetic brush and dust some of it off just as you would if you were applying eyeshadow and I'm going to come over here and just pat it in to dry this area out so that her area is nice and dry before she goes to bed. See if we can show the camera. So, I prefer the texture of the cornstarch. I like how it soaks up the excess moisture. And, and then you're going to rub it in with your fingers. And any excess you want to comb out with a comb. And that's it. That's pretty much how you use INB. It's just a jar of pads. You don't need to necessarily use the, the pads. You can put a liquid in a dropper bottle and just moisten each area. And then it's this powder, which I'm not really sure what's in it. So um, I'm not necessarily going to switch our current regime. I'm pretty happy with uh, using contact solution this to clean it and then you've seen me use cotton pads with warm water to clean this area out and then if I need to I like using my diluted version of the blueberry spa lavish um, on on the grooming table and then using this once a week in the bath so I find this to be very effective if you watch the progression of Tweety's uh, video from our first tear stain video to our Korean cut to our Korean cut tutorial, you can see she has progressively gotten very white. And even with these these loose hairs that are growing, she's gotten much cleaner using just plain old contact solution with a little bit of boric acid in it. And um, keeping this area dry with a little bit of cornstarch using a cosmetic brush. And that's it.